All right, hello and welcome to uh, one of my first tutorials for uh, new players to the world of Guild Wars 2. Uh, uh, my name is Dark or Zero, as some people know me, and I would like to do a tutorial for, like I said, newer players coming into the game. Nothing can bring me down. This particular one I want to do first as my first tutorial is just a basic overview of uh, some of the uh, player versus environment components or PVE of Guild Wars 2 and mainly pertaining to mobs and how they interact with you within the world of Guild Wars 2. Now I'm on a mess right now. The first thing I want to uh, make clear that anything I talk about within this particular video does not only pertain to the Mesmer class. I just happen to be on my Mesmer at the time. This applies for all eight of the uh, selectable or playable classes of Guild Wars. Now first off, mobs. Uh, mobs are creatures within the world, whether they are a friend or foe. And every mob within the game will have a few uh, words or text underneath its name. Uh, the River Drake, for example, it says Breeze Fire. Now, the reason why I want to uh, explain exactly why this text is there is because I've run across a uh, few players or encounters where people really didn't understand what that text was there for. When uh, Guild Wars 2 was uh, cast out in its beta stage, I believe, uh, the developers added this text to the creature so that it gives you an idea of what you can expect to encounter from different uh, creatures or mobs within the world of Guild Wars 2, whether they're regular uh, veterans, champions, or legendary type mobs. Majority of mobs in the game have some form of text underneath their name to tell you a little bit about what they can do. And the reason you want to understand this and, and apply this knowledge to your gameplay is it allows you to adapt adapt your play style and adapt your uh, team planner or composition for any particular um, any particular fight within the game. Now, all creatures, like I said, are, have a different texture in the name, like the plain worm, hatchling, burrows when it moves. Now, if you came across this mob for the first time and you knew nothing about it, just by reading this text, you're able to formulate well this mob's going to burrow and obviously go underground and move particularly towards uh, its attacker, like say this player here, that's engaged the uh, plane swarm hatching. And even like non uh, attackable monsters, like some of the white ones or whatnot, when you see, sometimes mine. might have white text underneath their name. Uh, let's see if I can find a particular mob that's uh, slightly threatening or whatnot. We'll look at the bandit uh, cut purse for this particular example. Now, this particular mob is a uh, human type mob because we're in the uh, human starter area of Queensdale in Krita. And this particular mob says it steals. 
and for those that are uh, unfamiliar with what that means on, if you play a thief class they have a uh, mechanic within their uh, profession that allows them to gain a temporary weapon or item Defense, from different off. types of uh, mobs and players within the game and so this particular mob replicates that ability so let's see what exactly that ability is Well, he didn't get to steal anything that time around. Uh, we have some players down here trying to level up and whatnot. See if we can find something that will use its text and whatnot. It says the bandit scout starts fires and whatnot. All right, now we're looking at a uh, champion class mob, and it says knockbacks and mobilizes. So if you were to engage this mob by yourself for the first time, just by looking at its name, you know that it's going to knock back and mobilize. Now just by taking this information that they give you, you can kind of sort of plan your uh, strategy or counterattack. We know knockback is a form of CC, so you probably want to have something that uh, breaks stun or uh, gets you out of a uh, knockback. And immobilize is a condition within the game, one of many conditions, so you probably want to have some form of possible condition removal. And since I'm on measurement for condition removal, you have like null field, which drops all your conditions and you have Monta Resolve which uh, also drops two conditions on use. Since it's just me, we'll go ahead and take Monta Resolve. Unbroken, unshaken, resolve. And for my stun break, I'll go ahead and keep my blink. Alright, let's see how we do on this mob, just applying some of the uh, basic information given to us.
got me pretty good. didn't fare too well on the uh, group event. Technically that's a group event so it was meant and designed for more than one player but give or take when you're a uh, high level and whatnot on some of the group events you're able to sell it by yourself but since my measurement is like only level 47 and her gear is not all too up to date I didn't fare so well. But you just got the general idea of how you can apply the text from various mobs to your skill bar and gameplay because it's the, it's given to you so that you're not going into uh, fights or combats blind and not knowing what to expect from uh, mobs and so forth also something I just want to uh, note on the side that the text is not all the mob is able to do it's only the majority of what it can do and normally when it uses the uh, skill described in the text um, most mobs with flash uh, will have a flash animation to them right before they use that particular skill uh, we'll see if we can get the MOA to use its uh, Dazing Screech. And as you see, it had a little tiny flash animation right around its mouth before it used its daze. if I can find one more thing just to uh, stress a few points on other classes that are not say Mesmers and whatnot. Alright, the Bandit Hired Man flurries and mobilizes so we know it's going to have some kind of flurry skill and it's going to apply the mobilization condition. Let's hit it one time and see what it does. Alright, changed areas to a more level appropriate area for my character so that the effects of the mobs actually show on my character because the level 3s and queens uh, weren't doing too much as far as to what I want to show. Alright, this mob here, the uh, coveting pirate, says he fights dirty. He's a dirty fighter or whatnot. And this guy is a risen uh, abomination says he's unstoppable and builds frenzy. So let's see exactly what that is. Now as you see he had a little white animation right before he used uh, one of his skills. As you see, he got a buff that says Frenzy, and he attacks faster and does more damage. 
and he builds it means he's probably going to accumulate more stacks of that buff. And unstoppable means that he can't be uh, CC'd or uh, crowd control. As you see, he's immune to my pistol 5, which uh, stuns his first target. So that particular mob, if you ran across it again, you would know, one, it builds fury, which lets it attack faster but take more damage, and you know it's unstoppable or immune to any forms of CC. So it would probably be a bad idea to bring a hard CC when you're fighting a mob like that, or, or not bring a stun breaker. so that I'm not attack while I wrap this up. Now every mob, just a summary, every mob in the game, whether it's friend or foe or uh, passive or aggressive, is going to have a little uh, description or some text underneath this name. And this text is placed here to allow you an idea of what every mob in the game can do what some of it is able to do so that you're not going into any fight or out exploring in the uh, world of Tyria just blind and randomly encountering things and having no idea what possible uh, skills or utilities of your chosen profession will benefit you from fighting uh, certain uh, mobs and creatures within the game. Like if you were to fight this jellyfish that applies AOE poison, you already know right off the bat before you start the fight that you're going to probably need some form of a uh, condition removal to counter this particular mob. Alright, just some closing statements. My name is uh, Zero or Dark as some people know me and I want to start doing a uh, Guild Wars 2 beginners tutorials for uh, new people coming into the game to give them a little idea of how the uh, world of Guild Wars works so if you have any ideas or suggestions that you would like to see uh, pitch me a message through my uh, through my YouTube account or I'll leave a uh, email address within the uh, description I hope this was informative and helpful and that you got something from it and I thank you for your time Come on, come on, hit me. Hit me. I'll hit back. I'll hit back.